So I finish work and I'm just kind of relaxing, having a drink or two. I'm scrolling through Twitter and I came across this post from Polling Canada. Usually I don't make videos this late, right? Usually I have it done you know, before work or on my lunch break, but I just saw this and I had to make a video. And it's from Polling Canada. And what it says is this Angus Reid poll in Quebec is pretty brutal for the Liberals. Even Trudeau loses his seat. And it's great for the block. So, this is basically Montreal Island right here. If you look right here where my mouse is, this is the Papineau writing. And if you see, if you notice rather, it's got a yellow tint. So apparently Angus Reid has a feeling that Justin Trudeau is going to lose his writing. Now, I couldn't find that actual poll on Angus Reid. So I'll, what I'm going to do is just pull this up here on 338. Now, when I pull this up, you might think I'm crazy for even making a video about this because Trudeau's at 38%. What do you mean he's going to lose his seat? Well, 338, the way they do it is an average of all polls. And not only that, it also factors in recent history. Now, Justin Trudeau usually gets around 50% in this riding. On average, he's at 38 right now. Now, the only thing that's bad about this is that if he does lose, it's the NDP uh, member would take over. However, it would be so funny to see Justin Trudeau lose Papineau. I'll take an NDP winning the riding. It's not like they're going to win a majority or even a minority government. They're, they're nothing to worry about right now, or at least after the next election. So I'll take the NDP winning there just to see Justin Trudeau lose his seat. Now, because they factor in recent history, this number 38 is probably a little bit higher than what it's actually going to be. And this 27 is probably a little bit lower than what it's actually going to be. And maybe the block makes major strides, who knows. But it's very possible that this riding is in play and that Justin Trudeau ends up getting less than 30% of the vote. Which means not only is he going to lose in a landslide in an election, he would then be removed from Parliament completely. Now... I know we don't always get the justice that we deserve, but wouldn't that be so sweet and hilarious, by the way? Sorry, Justin Trudeau, you lost, but, you know, we'll rebuild the, the, the Liberal Party with you. Oh, wait, sorry, you're gone. Completely gone. Not just removed as Prime Minister, but removed from the House of Commons and Parliament for good, forever. Because he ain't ever getting back in. And it just... You know, it just makes my day kind of hearing things like this. And again, I'm not even necessarily predicting that this happens, but the fact that his own riding is close is insane. I mean, the federal election is going to be an absolute landslide of something that we haven't seen in like 30 years. It's going to be brutal. I can't wait. I know you guys can't wait too. And one thing I do want to ask you guys is what's your prediction? Do you think that this is possible that Justin Trudeau loses the Papineau riding? Or do you think he's going to keep it and remain in Parliament? Or do you think he's going to, well, maybe he doesn't run again, maybe he ends up resigning, who knows? But let me know what you guys think in the comment section, because I do always enjoy uh, engaging with you guys. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe, as it really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back tomorrow with a new video.